Hello guys, welcome back to my channel once again here on YouTube. Today, um, something a little bit different I wanted to do for you uh, and for uh, collectors of TNA Impact Wrestling DVDs. If you're new to collecting them and you needed some advice, I'm happy uh, to do this with this video, give you as much advice and help as I possibly can. Um, obviously, I'm not a Mr. Know-It or like a big-headed prick or anything. I just want to give you give you all kind of advice uh, as a collect as a collector myself, and pass on the knowledge I've picked up over the years of collecting TNA DVDs. And I'm ho I hope to do this with uh, each organization. Have a video of uh, AEW, for example, TNA as this one is now, WWE, uh, ECW, you know, so on and so forth, and then give you a rough idea of what to. What prices to expect to pay, um, what's common, what's rare, that kind of shit, really. And, um, yeah, so I don't want you all to think, you know, I'm being a cocky, arrogant prick or whatever, Mr. Know-it-all, but I, obviously I'm not. I'm doing this just to be helpful to any new collectors out there because when I started collecting uh, in 2010, it was for TNA. I mainly focused on TNA. I'd buy the odd wrestling DVD for, say, WWE, but I wasn't collecting for the uh, for those at that time. And I just focused on collecting just pay-per-views for uh, TNA. And I didn't bother with the best ofs or anything, not really. But over the years, I've started to... Well, over the last few years, I've started to collect the best ofs and plus one or two of the pay-per-views I, I had missing at the time. But I'm up to date with all my pay-per-views. And I'm just missing a few of the best of still now. But let's get into this anyway, guys. So first of all, um, you're if you're going to be new to collecting, you're going to notice there's going to be certain pay-per-views or best ofs maybe. I don't think best ofs. I have to have a good thing about that now. But pay-per-views where you'll get uh, covers that are different. To one another so in this case we have a genesis from 2013 one's a uk release with sting on the front there and then we have the the U us release with uh bully ray on and i decided i wanted to collect alternate uh dvds you know for the alternate covers because i like both of the cover artworks on this uh, on both of these sets and uh Sting being my favourite wrestler, I, I had to have this one. And uh, I like Buddy Ray as well. So I thought, well, I'm going to have to grab that one up. And interestingly enough, I'm glad I did as well because Sting's uh, version, the UK version, is a two-disc set. And the, U the US one is a single-disc set. So we're not having the extras on uh, the US one. But we do on the UK release, which is quite interesting. Um, these ones usually go on average for around 15 to 20 pounds or dollars each. So they're not uh, very uncommon, but they're not common either. Another example as well for alternate covers. Slammiversary 11. So I have the US one here on the left hand side. And the UK one here on the right hand side. But again, I liked both of the cover artworks for these. And I thought to myself I needed to get both of them. <laughs> There's the spines for those. And the back of each one. I don't know if this one is a two disc set. I haven't opened it yet. But it doesn't feel like it will be. That's something I need to look into for that. But... Yeah, the, the main reason I've shown you these was because of the alternate uh, covers, as I was trying to explain. And they expect to pay probably around $20 or £20 a piece for each of these as well. Again, they're not common, but they're uncommon, I guess. Moving on to the common stuff, you'll probably come across uh, a lot of, lot of copies of Christian Cage. If you're starting out as a new TNA Impact Wrestling DVD collector, um, and you'll, you'll probably end up getting this quite early on in your collection, so early on, early on in your uh, life of collecting, you know, the t for TNA Impact, 
Christian Cage is always one of those ones that <laughs> seem to pop up. And it's relatively cheap as well. You know, you can get it for around six, seven pounds or maybe eight dollars, maybe even less than that. It's usually bundled off in job lots and stuff as well. This is the UK version, but the US version is exactly the same as the cover artwork for this one, except obviously no 18 certificate on the US version. The back may be slightly different. I'm not sure. I have to look into that as well. But yeah, the Christian, very common. Another example of a common uh, DVD for TNA is Joker's Wild. This is the UK version. Get it for around five pounds, maybe six dollars in the US. And I never uh, really thought about it before that it, that it was a common one until someone brought it to my attention and then I happen to just see them quite a lot now. But one that I see very, very often is uh, One Night Only Extravaganza. You can get this for like three pounds or three dollars in the US possibly. It's one you'll see all the time for sale. So this one would be definitely one you'd get early as a collector for your collection because it's always there. There's always copies of it available for sale. I have both the UK and US version of that. I didn't bring the US one to the room for this video though, unfortunately, guys. And also one more, Doomsday, The Best of Abyss. Not as common as those uh, previous three I show, I've shown you, but again, I do see this one around quite a bit, and uh, I'd expect to pay around $8, $8 to $10 or $8 to £10 for, the, for that one, which I think is pretty reasonable and fair. And then we, we move on to the pay-per-views, uh, where prices start to go up now. Again, this is all my own opinion, guys. No one else's. Um, apologies if I offend anyone or upset anyone with this video. This is all my own knowledge that I've put into this and research. And from my own experience as a collector of what to expect to pay and what I see the prices go for. So some of the earlier pay-per-views. We have Destination X from 2006. Now, this one was one of the ones that I didn't get uh, early on in my collecting, when I was collecting the pay-per-views. This one I got a little later because I just couldn't, I just couldn't find it. And uh, I'd expect now this one goes for around 70 quid. Yes, yeah, so 70 pounds and probably 50 to 70 dollars in the US, possibly. So yeah, that's um, this is where the prices, like I said, start to really go up. And the same with this one, Turning Point, uh, 2007. This was another one that I ended up getting quite late in my collecting. And again, just like Destination X 2006, around £70 or 50 to 70 US dollars expect to pay for for that one this one's uh you know came onto my radar again recently it was quite hard for me to find when i was after it but i managed to pick it up a few years ago when they got restocked in impact euro store for a short time and that was uh bound for glory 2018 so i picked this one up for i think it was Fourteen ninety nine, fourteen pounds ninety nine. Add the postage to that, so around nineteen twenty pounds. I paid for this one, brand new. Obviously, I bought it for um, from the Impact Euro store back then, a couple of years ago. But now it's just seemed to have become out of print and quite a rare collectible again, as it was before. And a few people I know are after it. 
I'd say it would go for around £50 here in the uh, UK and in the US probably about the same. Lockdown 2014, another one of those that, you know, it, the prices can go up and down for, for this one. 2014 has a few releases of that year that are quite hard to come by now. This being one of them, the last ever lockdown released on uh, pay-per-view and on DVD. I like the cover for this as well. It's really cool with Magnus on. Yeah, this one, I, I'd say roughly £60 or 50 to 60 US dollars. Expect to pay for that one. Maybe even more because the prices keep going up and down for that one. Now, this one is usually sought after by uh, new collectors. So we have one night only tag team tournament. I'd say this one goes anywhere between... 50 to 80 pounds and roughly about 50 to 80 us dollars and this is another one that can go up and down in price as well depending on if it's sealed as well that always helps always check as well but uh when you're buying from someone if they're sealed if you want to get them uh you know as good as new because you never you never know if you end up with a scratch disc you know you don't want to be paying stupid prices and then you end up with a damaged disc or anything like that it's just crazy Bound for glory 2014 another example of a rare um release from 2014 i'd say again this one is in the 50 to 80 pounds price bracket probably uh, probably the same for us dollars as well Sorry, guys, getting all my uh, words muddled in. <laughs> and there's a, there's a look at that one. And then next up, we start going up with the prices even more. We're reaching $100 plus dollars now, maybe $120, £120 kind of uh, price bracket for some of these now. So knockouts, knockdown 2014. I was lucky enough to get this one in a bundle deal with some Ring of with a load of Ring of Honor DVDs and some ECW DVDs from a guy a couple of years ago, which I was very pleased about. And yeah, I've seen I've seen this one go for about one twenty five, maybe the the last one I saw for sale. So yeah, that's, that this is getting ridiculously overpriced now is like what would you pay on average new say about twenty dollars twenty pounds new and then you you know you add that all up in your head and it's like five six times the amount that you would pay for it when it was released brand new it's it's crazy but some of the collectors will are willing to pay these crazy prices again another one that would be around 120 dollars or pounds is usa versus the world from 2015 and a lot of the 2015 tna releases are so difficult to come by and i was lucky enough to get this one when it was released so i paid around 14.99 it was from wrestling store uk when it was released back then thankfully i don't often see that one for sale at all now that's just one of the ones that you really just don't see so it's quite rare. And another one that's just started to become rare again, it's similar to Bound for Glory 2018, and it's come to my attention, a friend of mine brought it up, Bound for Glory 2016. Now this one, <laughs> this one can go for ridiculous amounts of uh, dollars or pounds. I'd say... It's, it's really hard to get a fixed price for this one, guys, but I I would expect to be paying, you know, quite a bit for this one. But for the for this video, I just couldn't think of um, a number to give you guys for this. 
But if you see it for, a, you know, say less than, you know, $50 or $100 or, or something like that, snap it up because it's just become so difficult to obtain now. Yeah, or £50 below maybe. If you can see it for that, just that's a deal, honestly. It's a still at that price. But honestly, expect to pay hundreds for that one. Another one in the £125, $125 kind of barrier is Sacrifice. That one's slowly sneaking up in price as well, pushing 150 kind of uh, price barrier. And I think, unfortunately, this one will continue to rise as the um, years, as time goes on, as the years go on, this will continue to rise in uh, price as well. Yeah, so I, I can see this one going up to about 150 soon. But yeah, I, I'm glad I got that one when it um, when it was released as well from the wrestling store back in the day. This one around 150 to 180 dollars or pounds is X Division extra, Extravaganza 2015. I've not seen this one for sale for a very long time either. So when that happens as well, you can expect the seller to just think to themselves, oh, we'll try it for as you know, high prices we can possibly put it for and see what happens or put and best offer or best offer or whatever it is, say on eBay, where they put a price or best offer. So I can see this one probably going up being put up when it does uh, go up for sale again for quite a lot. But yeah, expect around 150 to 180 dollars or pounds to pay for that one, guys. Now this one I know very well from uh, what I paid for it. I won't discuss what I paid for it on this video, but put it this way, it was over 100 pounds I did pay for it, but I'm not gonna give you the exact figure, but I'd say this one's around the $200 uh, dollars or £200 pound mark right right about now. Maybe pushing 220 250-ish. Uh, uh, you know, you just you just don't know. But yeah, expect around uh, to pay around 200 plus for this now. So Hardcore Justice 2015. I learned my lesson by not buying this. And, cho and I chose to buy computer games instead for my PlayStation. Back then, I thought, oh, I'll hold it off for a few months. And then time just kept going on and on. And then it went out of stock. And I thought, ah, oh, they'll get it back in stock again. Wrestling store. Yeah, yeah, they're very cool. And they'll get it back. And then, unfortunately, this was one of those ones that never got restocked. And I had to get help getting that one. And luckily, I got it. And then the last few uh, pay-per-views I'll show you... That will be breaking the bank for you guys. Honestly, if you're new to collecting and you want to complete, you know, want to have a complete set, you're going to have to expect to pay. And I'm not over exaggerating with this one. Expect to pay around 300 plus for each of these. And as a pair sold like that they probably get 500 plus 500 plus dollars 500 plus, uh, plus pounds so amped anthologies part three and four and being sealed as well just increases their value even more another lesson i learned was selling mine to help another collector out when i first started my channel because he saw them on my channel and um, I, I, I agreed to a, a deal with him. I won't say what figure it was. It was it was a ridiculous figure, and I'm not going to lie because I wanted, I didn't want to part with them. But at the same time, I thought to myself, "Oh, he wants them that badly. Let's see if he'll, you know, go for it." And he did. He agreed to it. And um, the downfall was I just kept staring at my collection, thinking to myself, what did I do? Why did I sell them for? What an idiot. Even though I've got all that money for them, I've got to try and get them back again now. And luckily, the guy who I sold them to managed to find another seller of these about a year or so later. 
and um you know he, he helped me get them back in a way and i'm grateful for that thank you dude for that non-pay-per-views around 60 to 80 pounds and around 100 to 125 dollars the best of hulk hogan uh, goes for or i've seen go for again that's not one you often see on the uh on the auctions for sale or anything like that very hard to come by but yeah expect to pay those kind of prices for that one so that's like a non-pay-per-view as i said and some of these non-pay-per-views will go for crazy prices and the final one i'll show you today because i'm trying not to make this video too long as well is uh the best of bloodiest brawls uh I got this with the Amped Anthology Part 3 and 4 and Hogan as well. So I got all four of those from one collector, from, from the same collector, sorry, who was selling up, luckily. But I've I've never really seen this one for sale since. And it wasn't really easy to find before either. But I, I, I'm guessing this one's around... $150 or £150, maybe even more for that one. And for a non-pay-per-view, it seems ridiculous. But there's one I'll tell you about that I don't own at the moment, just before I go wrap up this video. And that's Free Live Crew, the best of the Free Live Crew. I've seen that go for $500, and there was one in the UK for £350. Again, ridiculously crazy prices. Trying to get one cheaper than that is just, you know, like trying to shit out a diamond, basically. You know, that's your chances. <laughs> but like I said, this video is just to help you, you know, if you, you're new to collecting and that, guys. And my own personal opinions, you know, there's no written facts about all this anywhere. This is just from my own knowledge of, as a collector of what I wanted to share with you guys of what to expect, you know, what prices to expect to pay. And, you know, is it a good time to be a TNA DVD collector? I'd say yes, but there, you know, when you get to your last 20, maybe 25 DVDs you need, you're going to start to break the bank a little bit. And when you're going to want your free live crew or your amped anthologies part three and four, you're going to look about, a, you know push about a grand for the three of those and i'm not i'm not taking the piss i'm not over exaggerating honestly guys you, you're gonna have to expect to pay a grand for free fucking dvds it's absolutely insane it really is but you'll get a lot of the like i said you'll get a lot of this extravaganza joker's wild doomsday christian cage early on piece of piss but you won't get your destination x 2006 too early i wouldn't have thought because oh unless you're really lucky obviously or if you get a really stupid seller who knows nothing about the value of some of these what these dvds go for you could end up with all of these i've just shown you now for 20 dollars or 20 pounds that'd be the still of the century <laughs> you just i just can't explain to you guys how how frustrating it can be as a collector uh, especially when you're down to your last few you, you need and then they just get snapped up straight away because you know you can't afford to pay the price that they're asking for or you know you've got to wait for payday to come before you can even think about getting them or if you're lucky enough to just miss or unlucky enough sorry to miss out on one on an auction say one of them came up for say that one for example came up for 25 pounds or 20 pounds or 20 dollars buy it now on eBay or on Amazon or something. And then you've got it on your, um, you know, search saved, whatever it is, you know, for that particular title. And then you get alerted uh, or notified when, when it, when a seller is selling one on there and then you go to see, and it's already sold. That's very frustrating. So expect a lot of that to happen as well. I've had that happen, especially with some of the ECW ones, which I'll get to, in another video but yeah guys i hope this has been very helpful for you today i've done my best i could to um, try and share my knowledge 
of collecting these. I, I've enjoyed collecting them over the years, and I'm sure you will as well. Thank you for taking time to watch this video. Give me a thumbs up if I deserve one today. Comment if you want about anything, any questions about collecting, let me know below and I'll do my best to answer. I've got friends as well who could help me answer any questions that I wouldn't be able to give an answer for because we, we all share knowledge around, you know, this DVD collecting community. I've got good friends I've made since doing my channel and we're always talking about things like rare DVDs and, you know, what ones are missing from our collections and, you know, shit like that. And it's always good to hear, you know, your thoughts and opinions on it as well, guys. Feel free to subscribe as well if you haven't done so already. I want you all to stay safe, look after yourselves. Catch you again. Peace.